Growing long hair as a dude is the way to go, so stick around as I show you how to do it. Chris Hemsworth, Jared Leto, Brad Pitt, Christian Bale, Jason Momoa. Some of the sexiest men ever, and what do they all have in common, other than being insanely ripped, of course? They all have long hair. Or at least had an era of long hair. Coincidence? I think not. It just points to the fact that growing your hair long can be a cheat code to looking sexy, suave, and very manly. You might just have considered growing your hair long, but felt like it won't work for you. Or maybe you just didn't know how to go about it. I've got you covered, so stay with me in this video. Growing long hair is not something that happens overnight. You're probably thinking, duh, who would expect long hair overnight? Well, I don't mean it literally. So, if you use all the tips in this video and don't seem to see any difference, stick to it. For some, it works in a matter of weeks, for others, you need to stay consistent for months. Be honest with yourself about your hair density, texture, quality, and hairline because those are the factors that determine how your hair grows. Growing your hair long is easy for some dudes, just leave it without visiting the barber and they look like Rapunzel in a few months. But other than the natural effort, here are some tips you need to take to grow your hair long. To start us off, you should try boosting your efforts with hair supplements. You could get medical or prescriptive hair growth measures, but also try out other over-the-counter supplements that work for hair strength and resilience. Picture it this way, your hair is like a crop that gets planted, your scalp is the soil of course, and supplements are just the fertilizers. Without fertilizer, crops can grow, but they make the soil richer and make the plants grow healthier and that's exactly what hair supplements do. There are tons of hair supplements on the market with different ingredients in them, but you should target something that promises to help anchor the follicle bulb while sprouting thicker, stronger, and faster growing strands. These are the main aspects you need supplements to strengthen your hair for. Still using the soil and crop analogy, you need to pay attention to your scalp health. If the scalp is soil, then you know as much as I do that bad soil can't yield any fruit or crop. So, what you do is first take care of the soil. Even the scientific part of hair growth explains that hair growth is stimulated by blood flow and the nutrients it delivers. So you have to ensure your scalp is healthy so your follicles can be properly nourished. But how do you even treat your scalp when growing long hair over it? One way is to take supplements. Another is to wash your hair thoroughly every few days with only detoxifying purifying shampoo. That's how you keep your scalp clean and healthy. Notice that I said only detoxifying purifying shampoo? Well, that's not an error because to grow your hair long, you need to skip the shampoo. But before that, I've got something special for you. I made a free Discord community that you can join, so if you're serious about transforming yourself, then go check out the first link in the description. I'll see you there. Now, back to our beef with shampoo. Really, my dude, shampoo literally as little as you can. One, it's not for scalp cleaning. Any other shampoo you have should be benched when you're on your quest for long hair. A lot of guys shampoo daily, and I get it, shampoo feels nice in your hair. It also looks like basic cleanliness to wash your hair like the rest of your body. But here's the thing with shampoo that makes it bad for you when growing out long hair. Shampoo dries your hair, damages it, and then signals your scalp to produce even more oil than it would naturally. I know, I know, it doesn't make much sense that shampooing your hair is a bad idea, but being that they constantly deplete your hair sebum supply, your scalp reacts by producing more grease for your hair, and you don't want that, particularly not when you're trying to hop on your Jason Momoa energy, right? I'll tell you this though, as much as hair professionals will tell you to probably never even own a shampoo, some guys have to use them because they obviously get greasy in a couple of days. So, if you're one of those guys who have naturally greasy hair, then what you do is shampoo less often. Instead of every day, make it once every two or three days. Instead of every week, make it once every two weeks, and so on. Just ensure that while you're trying to grow long hair when it comes to shampoo, less is more. If you aren't shampooing your hair, you're definitely not expected to use a regular bath soap to wash your hair then what should you do to clean your hair? Use conditioners. It's that easy, that straightforward, that simple. Less shampoo, more conditioner. Short and medium hair lengths don't need a lot of heavy duty nourishment, but if you're trying to get something a bit lengthy, you must get leave-in conditioners and bond building hair masks, everything that keeps your hair nourished. Conditioner is a must for longer hair. Hear me out, 
You don't need any special recommendation to know what conditioner to use. You don't need to stick to men's brands, just need to get out there. Buy any conditioner and see how it works for you. You can be relaxed on your conditioner selection because as long as it's the right content in the bottle, conditioners are far less abrasive than shampoo. They help eliminate excess grime and most importantly, they're nutrient rich. Conditioner loads your hair with a lot of vitamins to keep your hair strong and soft. So shampoo maybe once a week or twice because your scalp needs it. But condition every day you take a bath because that's what your hair needs. And be sure to always condition after shampooing. That's a law. Never shampoo before conditioning, ever. And when you've done both, use cool water to rinse instead of hot because the cooler the water, the less conditioning agents get stripped away. Few other conditioning tips are to use mask treatments, fortifying hair oils, and leave-in conditioners after the normal conditioner use when bathing and to brush or pick out your hair regularly for maximal conditioning settings. Moving on. I'll be giving you one of the weirder tips you need to follow to grow your hair longer. Visit your barber regularly. Before you come for my neck, I agree, it doesn't sound logical to cut your hair while trying to grow it. Hell, it's even extremely counterproductive. But here's the thing, consistent haircuts are the tiny line between Jason Momoa's and Brad Pitt's long hair. One looks well groomed and almost like something from a hair advertisement, the other looks like the hair of a man from the medieval times. While some dudes can pull off the savage long hair look, most dudes can't, so haircuts are your saving grace. When you get a cut, you look your best with your hair lying smooth in a handsome wearable state. It also helps to get rid of split ends, and there's the bonus of you getting to be around from tips from your barber. Your hair grows about half an inch every 3-4 to four weeks, so you can wait 6-8 to eight weeks between medium hair cleanups. After that, you need to get a cut every 8-12 to 12 weeks after the first 9 months. This gives your hair time to grow while still being groomed and evaluated, so it's a win-win. You get to grow long hair, wear all kinds of hairstyles en route to longer hair, and still get healthy, clean long hair at the end of the day. So unless you plan on growing out that long hair living under a cave for a year, please try to get a trim at least once in two months as you go on your long hair journey. I'm not done just yet though. Another important tip for growing your hair long is that you switch up your hair products. You've probably been using the same pomades, waxes, and paste for decades. And I get you bro, you form some sort of attachment to those products. But when you're trying to grow long hair, you have to do away with them and opt for grooming creams, lotions, serums, and leave-in conditioners. Just make sure you stop using the heavier hair products to get the right hair texture when your hair gets to be the length you want. You might have to check out recommendations from hair professionals, but make sure you change your hair products. You already know what you need to use for long hair, but what about what to avoid? For one, do not ever use heat styling when growing your hair out, ever. Don't use blow dryers, avoid UV rays, cold and dry air, and humidity. You might just have to wear headwear every time you're out, because anything from salt water to chlorine, dye, bleach, and even air pollution can cause hitches on your hair growth journey. And lastly, have all the right hair tools in your arsenal. Like I said at the start, growing long hair is a journey, not just a sprint. No one sets out on a journey without getting prepared, so ensure you have all the tools in place. Tools like dry shampoo, hairspray, salt spray, hairbrush, hair oil, heat protectants, and sometimes you'll need a texture spray. Do you have any questions about these tips? Let me know in the comment section and check out our other videos. Peace out.